Hi guys, welcome to part 8 of the build. In this episode we'll be releasing this hull from the mould. So I haven't shown you the five glassing process because it's not very exciting. You can probably guess the colour already. The reason it shows through so much is because I've uh, pigmented the resin so we get a nice deep colour. So first of all I'll release the transom bit off the mould and then I'll just break free the edges and once I've done that and I know it's going to come out, I'll glass in these strengthening ribs and then release the whole mould from the uh, whole hull, sorry, from the mould. And after that, we can glass in the floor, then foam fill it, uh, and that will be the whole section done. Then we move on to moulding the deck going to show you the process of releasing the transom but um, it's just held on with the split mould, these butterfly nuts and uh, I just undid them and it fell straight off so it was super very easy to release. You can see the mould where I've sanded off these edges, the mould's already started to release so it's probably just gonna yeah pop straight out. So I'll get that so it's not stuck in, then we can glass in those strengthening ribs. You can see this one looks pretty cool. It's um, got all the weight saving cutouts. Not that it actually saves that much weight, but it looks good, although you'll never see it again. I did cut this out slightly the wrong size. So, I'll because it's getting glassed in anyway, I'll probably just glue on a bit of wood to make it a bit bigger. It's not best practice, but it's going to be five glass over, so it doesn't matter. And then I'll draw around it onto a piece of wood, so I've got a template, it, template for it for uh, future boats. So now with glassing in, all the strengthening ribs and strakes. So that little platform's just for the battery to sit on. If the battery goes up the front there then it um, helps distribute the weight a bit better and this middle bit here is where the floor goes down on top of this and I'll glass in uh, I'll just cover up that area with chop strap mat and I'll glass in two little strakes just in the back and that also be used as somewhere where I can put attachments to uh, fix down the fuel tank you see what I was talking about earlier, how I cut that piece too short, so I just glued on that bit of plywood and uh, glassed that end. That'd be fine. And these front sponson sections will actually be filled with expanding foam. See, there's a gap underneath for the foam to go into. So... I haven't finished that's just sticking it down it's just one layer of 600 grams chop strand mat and I want to do another layer over it all so first of all I'll cut out all the bits of wood it also needs a piece of wood gluing along this line for the floor to pick up on so I'll cut out the bits of wood and uh, carry on fiberglassing and show you the progress I think that looks quite nice with all the uh, holes drilled in it. I've got the last bits of wood cut out and ready to be glassed in. You see these front ones, I've screwed them in and actually backed it off a little bit so that it's loose so I can get some resin down in there then screw it up tight so it's glued and screwed. These back ones just be glassed down. And you can probably see I've beveled off the edges. The fiberglass will then, if, if you didn't do that, it would create bubbles on either side. Fiberglass, it doesn't mind going into gaps like that, but it doesn't like going over. So that just helps a little bit. And that's just cheap treated pine. It's the fiberglass itself which will make it strong rather than um, the wood. 
although this will allow me to screw into this some little hooks just for some bungee clips to hold the uh, fuel tank down and then this front um, battery tray a ratchet strap can go right round so I'll set up the camera and start doing some fiberglass Drake's are all fiberglassed in now you can see it's uh, I put down a bed of 600 grams it's chop strap mat chop strap mat sorry to stick them down then went over them with another layer of 600 and then this back section I'll sand it all out to get it nice and flat then go over it with white flow coat so it looks nice and it'll be petrol proof as well because the fuel tanks going in there this slightly deeper section there's a flat f flat floor that goes on this made out of uh, nine no sorry 11 mil plywood wait what just happened there yeah sorry 11 mil plywood and then when that's glassed in round the edges I'll cut out holes similar to that and pour in foam so it would be like a foam sandwich in here underneath the floor uh, otherwise the firstly the plywood would be too floppy to put the seats on um, and also it just makes it a lot more rigid and adds a bit of buoyancy too while keeping it light then these sections up here are going to be foam filled see I've gone back over all of the edges with another layer of 600 to make it really strong so when that plywood floor goes in that will get epoxy down to these frames and then fiberglassed on the edges and then I'll go over a whole lot with carbon fibre so it will have carbon fibre strengthening in the middle as well and it should uh, look nice so I could carpet it out when it's all done but I think I'd see how the carbon fibre looks might just leave it with the uh, carbon fibre showing
homemade gantry crane. It's just made out of scrap, well made out of an old trailer actually. And this is what I'll be using to lift the moulds up and handle them all about because it is quite difficult. It's not, not necessarily the weight but just the size of them. I'm going to have to do some modifications on it. I changed it so it's got that high bit up there just so I can lift a bit higher but with that it won't actually go through the door into the poly tunnel so I've got to chop that bit out and I've ordered another one of those cheap Chinese electric hoists and what I'm going to do is chop out these bars here and weld in a couple of lengths of scaffolding I've ordered another one of those so one will go there one will go there then that wire rope will hook down and across back up to that side of the scaffolding and I've got a spreader bar and it will go through pulleys and hopefully it will lift it up nice and level so just got to do a bit of chopping and welding first and uh, hopefully that will be it oh yeah and these wheels have had it they're just old I think they're sort of Mark II or Mark III Ford Escort rear brake drums and the bearings have had it the tyres are all shot they have all, all lose air straight away so I've got some smaller trailer wheels which will bring the height down a bit as well and uh, make it easier to push about so before we can actually lift the mould out I have to get this sorted but it shouldn't take too long
As you can see it was uh, pretty easy to get that out. I've just made up this little trolley to move the hole round on. So that's the hole pretty much done. I've just got to paint out these fiberglass bits with flow coat and just at the lip of a mould I've just got to sand those off but that, that gets covered over with the sandwich biscuit tin flange sorry the other one looks very nice good finish on it nice deep color to it I'm not sure about carbon fiber maybe if I sand it then polish it will look all right but I think probably not I think I'll just carpet over it but should make it a fair bit stronger I just I've held back on doing the flow coat because I'll epoxy in the fitting for the um, bilge pump just here at the back and once you flow coat over it's a bit harder to stick to so I've got one on order when the bilge pump turns up I'll put it on. So in the next video I've got some work to do just polishing out that deck mould and the next video and that should be much quicker that'll be out in about a week's time because this won't take long. Uh, we'll have the moulded deck and we're joining the two halves together and we should be pretty close to having a finished boat which would be cool. A bit of work to do on the outboard yet, it's almost all there, I've just got a few bits of wiring to sort out then we'll have to tune it but I won't do that till I can actually attach it to the transom. So yeah thanks very much for watching guys, please like the video and uh, share it and uh, subscribe to the channel. So thanks a lot, thanks for watching. See you later guys, bye.